is so dry right now. In news that I think a lot of us would consider to be quite predictable, Starfield has been delayed. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 has been delayed to spring 2023. Zelda 2 has been delayed. Forspoken, a game that I had been looking forward to on PlayStation has, it has in fact been delayed. Nintendo of America sent out a tweet to let everyone know that the Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp remake would once again be delayed. The release of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League is being delayed until next year, according to a report from Bloomberg. So it's already bad enough that a whole lot of games got delayed, right? But there's nothing else to play right now. The next purchase I'm getting, I'm like, I'm over here like, Saints Row, save me! Like, shh, you know it's bad. To be honest, I'm, I'm, like, most people will say that, oh, next game I'm buying is Saints Row. Oh, you know it's bad when I'm hyped for Saints Row, but I like the Saints Row games, even 3 and 4. Obviously, 1 and 2 are my favorites, but... I liked three and four, so I don't mind. I don't mind the new one. The characters look a bit questionable, but I, I'm I'm confident in the gameplay loop, so I'm not. I'm kind of hyped for that Saints Row, but Saints Row doesn't drop all the way until August. So if the next game I'm not buying is until August and it's May, and the game after that is, psh, yo, the next game I'm probably gonna buy is Gotham Knights, which looks trash. Like Gotham Knights looks so ass. But it's the only next thing coming out. It's like October 25th. I looked up before the video. So nothing's even... So I got Saints Row in August. I'm looking forward to it. Most people aren't. The next thing is in October, which everyone was just clowning last week. But we're all sheep. We're all still going to buy it still. Like, what else is there to play? And some people might be getting Forspoken, which is on October the 11th. But it's like, I'm not trying to buy that. Like, even in a dry, I'm not trying to buy that. You got God of War supposed to be coming out. Hey. Jaffy, be, he be on some other shit sometimes, but he's preaching. It looks like DLC. I'm not high for no God of War. Like, and, and everyone thinks it's going to get delayed. Not one person I know thinks. Yeah, 2022. Like, everyone thinks it's going to get delayed anyway. So the games that got delayed, Starfield, eh, I would have played it. I would have got around to it. Forspoken, it got delayed, but it just got delayed later into the year. So when it was a drought, it got pushed back to when one or two things are coming out even october isn't looking too hot november is not looking too hot but zelda got delayed i would have played that would have played that one for sure suicide squad looks way better than gotham knights doesn't look amazing but i would have been there redfall always looked like trash stalker 2 i was like Yo, what is that people keep talking about it i looked it up didn't look too bad i probably would have got around to it in a drought Advanced Wars, I hear everyone talking about that remaster and how the old games were so good. I like my top-down strategy. I, I, I like those kind of games. I might have given it a shot. But, like, it ain't... Look, even... You know it's bad when even the 2022 delays aren't even hitting like that. It's like... Nah, this ain't it. And gaming is so dry right now that they have me playing this. And normally, you know, I prefer my PlayStation. I play a little on PC there. But I play the PC games on PC, you know, Age of Empires. I'm not buying the PC talking about, ooh-wee, you got a war. So I, I ain't, I'm going to play them on my console. But it's like, I'm, I'm not one of the console kind of guys. But it's like, if you're looking for some entertainment and gaming right now, shh. <laughs> You better get in the trenches, like, that's the only way I see anyone having entertainment right now in the gaming space, like, you gotta be talking crazy, you gotta be doing, you can't just be playing games, like, I saw people getting exposed for not playing games, you saw all these people coming to the rescue talking about, oh, like, you can, you don't have to be a gamer to play games, like, you can watch games, you're a gamer, you're this and that, it's like, no other area does that logic apply, like, it's dry, but I'm like, yo, if it wasn't for this... Like, we just be talking about how there's nothing to play right now. So, sh at least, hey, it's something to talk about, at least. It's some form of entertainment, even though, sh if you're saying shit like that, I just think you're an idiot. But I'm all for keeping gatekeeping and gaming, all that shit. Like, like no, just because you got a little headset on in your profile picture doesn't mean you're gaming. I think if you review games that you didn't beat, you're a fraud. So, I ain't going to say no names. Tony Polanco. But... 
it's like you can't you just can't be living like this i see a bunch of people trying to be in the it crowd you know everyone was like yo paris yo you a dick eater yo paris you this you that now he chilling with phil spencer this and that everyone try and copy his wave everyone on some peaceful shit everyone oh no nah, you can't be saying this you can't be saying that everyone's welcome man fuck all that H. if you don't finish the games you shouldn't review it if you want to put out an impressions, it's an impressions, cool. But it's not a review unless you see it so that and you don't watch half a movie and drop a review. No other industry does that work. Same with the game and shit. No other thing can you call yourself a racer because you watch a little racing. Like, it doesn't work like this in any other industry. You got these people, brand ambassadors, this and that, that don't engage in the games. Don't I see people talking about I don't love Xbox for the games. I love it for what it's done for the community. I love it for this. I love it for that. Everything but the games themselves. And it's like, man, I ain't even about no console or shit, but it's so dry. I'm about to shh, I'm about to hop in the trenches with them. Like, fuck it. And then on top of it, they want to cry this and that. Oh, I'm being bullied. I'm being harassed. It's like, no, you're being held accountable for this fraud shit you're doing that doesn't slide in any other community. Then you got a bunch of lame ass niggas, a bunch of simps. They, hey, <laughs> I was going to say something crazy. <laughs> but you got a whole bunch of people defending them. I, I'm like, there's a couple frauds in the community that be on this type of timing who are guys or whatever. But I don't know if they get in the same defense force you know that these women again i've been saying this shit recently if they weren't women it's like i like a couple of niggas coming out i'm seeing a bunch of there's a whole bunch of random people i've been seeing pop up lately too like a bunch of people like these white guys these fat white guys with beards and the avatar i'm like who is this nigga bro i keep i keep seeing like oh my god this shit suck right now and then i saw one of them who was accused of not playing no games they had like i think it was 9,000 gamer score, you get that easily if you play any kind of games. I saw people posting their Fortnite streams from 2017 talking about, see, I play games. I saw them post Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order like one day in like two hours, so 26 hours. So you beat a game that dropped a couple years ago. Cool. I saw AC Valhalla in there, like 20 hours played. That's not being in the game. That's not close to being in the game. And it's like, these are the examples you drop for, yo, I'm in the trenches. I, I'll be playing games for real. I'll be playing. It's like you posting games you didn't even beat still. Huh? Like, and then you posting old live streams from 2017 or Fortnite. The most casual. It's like, all right. Bro. And then you got, you got niggas trying to make it about them. Yo, Twitch is so shit, man. That's why I don't even like this platform. That's why I don't even like this shit. It's like, shut. Like, oh my God. Well, that shit, oh my God. These niggas suck. It's like, man, if you don't wheel yourself off the platform or something, ain't nobody keeping you here, bro. This is, hey, bro. You got this brand ambassador that doesn't play no games. People say, yo, you ain't playing no games. And then here you come talking about, oh, they harassing. If people want to do this, then let them do that. It's not bothering no one. This, that. You try and just try and make it about it, them. And it's like, if you don't, shh. it's just, hey, it's too much. It's too much going on right now. Right? It's too much. It's too much. It's like. It's, just, it's too much capping going on right now. It's like, man, I said I was about to hop in the trenches. I, I'm not I'm not ready for it. It's too much. It's too much BS going on, man. I'm I'm good on all that. But who knows? Maybe I get desperate enough. There really is nothing to play. I'm not buying a single game until August. I might try. I don't really have a crazy long backlog like that. I'm playing my games. You saw me on City Skylines. The game's fire. I dropped, I dropped a whole bunch of money on the DLC. I ain't going to lie. So maybe I'll go back, revisit some of my favorite games and play the DLC because I don't really go back and play the DLC for my favorite games. But I might have to do that because I might have to start watching some movies. I might have to start watching some TV shows. You know, I might actually have to spend time with my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to head out. I'm going to figure out what I need to do because there ain't shit to play right now. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.